Hi traders, this is Taylor from the tradinganalyst.com and we're going to take a look at charts here. I've gotten a lot of chart requests and I'm going to go over uh, most of them that I see um, and some of them I'll spend more time on uh, than others. So let's get right into it. Uh, this is one that I'm going to spend not that much time on it just because it is a penny stock but as you can see clearly a ton of resistance here in that uh, 22 cent range you can see there was previous support right here okay and then we broke that support right around here you can see how big of a drop we got from there came back up retested it rejected came back up retested it and rejected so um, another thing that I'm seeing right here is a uptrend line right there so if you are bullish on this stock you want to see this uptrend line hold on that stock and it also matches up well with some support right around 15 cents you can see it was uh, a lot of sideways trading right here got resistance got resistance bounce from it right there uh, so those are the two main levels that I'm seeing for HEB alright next one let's check out CHK uh, CHK, this is one that I uh, do have charted out. You can see that we have been in a downtrend. Here's a hit, here's a hit, here's a hit, there's a hit. And then we broke over that right here just recently. We also have this uptrend line that began in February of this year. We've got several touches here, several touches here. So you really want to see this level hold about 550 hold on CHK. If this level holds, more than likely we're going to come up retest that 715 level again. And then some the main resistance that I'm seeing is up here at $13. So uh, we'll see what it does from here, but definitely looks uh, pretty decent as long as this 550 level holds for CHK. Next, let's take a look at LMT. So another one that I look at as well. So you can see we did break this uh, trend line here. Here's a touch here, here, right there, and then right here. And then we broke it uh, right here on this candle right there. So we broke it. Uh, we're heading down to some pretty decent support, um, you know, right, right around 235 to even, you know, right almost near the lows of, uh, the other day right here so I'll go ahead and I'll draw that and so why is this support right here between 240 and 235 well if you look here there's a lot of sideways trading action and sideways trading creates support and resistance so that's what I'm seeing the next main support below that is going to be right around 227 you can see that it was resistance here I'll zoom in here so you can see it a little better it was resistance here. Look at how many days uh, ran into that resistance level at about 227 here as well. So those are the levels that I'm seeing on uh, LMT, and it's more than likely going to at least come down and retest uh, one of these two levels at least. So just be prepared for that. We did break this trend, um, and then we've got uh, resistance um, on a retest if we somehow get a bounce before testing down here and a retest up against that trend line more than likely that's going to be a good shorting opportunity all right next let's take a look at uh, IEP downgrades blah 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 okay so let's check out IEP so this is one that I have not looked at which is good because you'll be able to see me looking at a chart for the first time and what I'm noticing. So first of all, I mean, you can clearly see this is in a downtrend. So it's just a matter of, you know, seeing where you can draw these lines. So that's really the main downtrend line that I'm seeing. And then just recently, if we zoom in here, you can see that we broke the support. Look at how many times we bounced from that support almost there and then we broke it right here with this day and then as you can see it's great you know when you have these lines drawn and then it comes back up and it retests it 
perfectly. So that's how you can tell that this is a, a nice line that we have drawn here because came up, retested it to the penny. Um, so moving forward, we broke that support. Next real support, I'm not really seeing until, you know, these lows here, right here. And even that's not uh, great, you know, support um, just because we only have, you know, a couple touches right here. And you can see that, you know, this is the biggest volume by price bar right here. And volume by price creates support and resistance. And we are below that level right here. Okay, so now it's going to be big resistance. So more than likely, this stock is going to continue to the downside. All right, let's take a look at five. All right, so five. First thing I'm seeing is an uptrend right here that we can draw. You know, you can just clearly see uptrends, okay? It's pretty easy. You know, not all charts have, you know, nice looking uptrends like this where it's just pretty simple to draw. But, you know, you can clearly see that this stock is in an uptrend because we are making higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, and then a higher low here. We can see that, you know, this stock came down and hit that trend line to the penny. Okay, so that that trend line would have been drawn before this hit right there. Okay, so we had enough hits on this trend line. Look at how exact that is. Look at how exact these hits are right here, and then we can expect more exact hits. Okay, so this is a really nice trend line, and more than likely that trend is going to continue up. That's what you want it to do if you are bullish on this stock. So just keep that. Uh, level in mind and uh, and keep and keep that keep drawing the extension of that trend line um, because you know you never know when it's going to end it could end it it could end right now or it could end you know when the stock hits seventy dollars so um, that's why it's always good to have these trend lines drawn and to keep trading with the trend all right next let's take a look at div. DIV, um, I don't know, I don't really have any thoughts on this, so I'm just going to skip that. I'm not really interested in uh, covering that. Okay, NXPI. Okay, so NXPI, this is one that I have looked at. Um, so a couple things I want to point out. We do have this downtrend line that we broke over. Here's a hit, here's a hit, here here and we finally broke over it right here and then look at what happens here that's why it's always good to keep these trend lines drawn even after the stock breaks over it because you never know when it's going to retest it and look at this opportunity to buy right here i mean this is just i mean this is just a beautiful bounce off of a trend line it's simple very simple to draw this line and then buy on this retest so Great opportunity to make some money there. Um, you know, right here it's at, uh, bounced at like 75, bounced all the way up to 90 from there. I mean, you know, that's some, that's what, like a 40% gain. I mean, that's great. So um, short term here, you know, I do see the potential for uh, some weakness. You want to see uh, this uptrend line hold. Okay, so we could kind of go either way. Um, break out over, let's call it about 90, break out over 90 and we can see much higher prices, okay? If we break below this trend line here, we're going to test a little bit lower, okay? Um, I don't really have any good bounce zones um, other than, you know, another retest of this trend line uh, right here if it ends up consolidating lower. Um, so really, if you're long, you know, I'd really want it to hold this trend line um, because this does kind of have a, a rising wedge uh, look to it. But of course, you know, this pattern needs to confirm and actually break down out of the um, 
trend line. So break over 90, it's going to continue to break under the trend line, more than likely going to see some lower prices. So we're right here squeezing in the middle. So this is definitely something that you want to be watching. And if you're in it, you've got to be watching these levels uh, right now. Okay. Another thing that you want to look at is this volume by price bar. This gray bar right here, it's the biggest volume by price bar. So we're right at an inflection point. Okay. So if we break over this, you know, we're going to see some nice movement to the upside because we're trading, you know, in uh, the highest uh, volume zone. And if we break outside of that range, usually see a nice move. So definitely be aware of uh, what's going on with that. Okay. Next is SSNI. All right, first thing I'm seeing here for SSNI is not perfect, um, but you know, still still valid uh, nonetheless. So we broke over this trend line. Okay, we broke over right here, and then you can see how it's retesting it, bouncing retesting it, bouncing. You can see that we saw some nice volume uh, as well on, uh, on Friday's action. So more than likely continues to the upside. You really want to see these lows hold. You want to see about $13 uh, dollars hold. Below that, I see some support right there. So that's really kind of the level you want to see hold. A retest of um, you know this uh, support right here. It was resistance right here, but now we're above it. And then you want to see this uh, downtrend line that we broke over. Uh, you want to see that hold as well. Uh, let's take a look at PANW. So PANW, a couple things here. Um, you know, we broke out of this little channel we had going on right here. You can see bouncing the highs, bouncing the lows here, 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 and then we finally broke out of it here. And then we also broke over this uh, longer term uh, downtrend line as well. You can see it started over here, touch, 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 a couple touches here, and then we broke over it right there. So definitely think that we can see higher prices on, oops, okay, on PNW. And I'm also going to see if I can draw right there. Yeah, so a nice little uptrend line. We've got a touch here, here, a couple touches there. So that's a nice uptrend line that you want to have drawn on your chart. This area right there, you know, 135 to 125, that's the area that you want to see um, get a bounce from. So if it ends up uh, getting down to that uh, level right there, in my opinion, that's going to be a buy opportunity. All right, let's look at BTG. Um, let's see, BTG. Um, I'll just do it really quick. Um, not really that interested in this one. You know, I see some support right here, about 270. You can see it bounce from there. Um, other than that, you know, not really seeing anything uh, noteworthy. I'll look at the weekly chart. Weekly chart. It's giving a little bit of a better picture right here. So if we end up do popping up towards the uh, $4 mark, you know, four, up to 450 you know, that'd be an area that I would be definitely... Um, uh, looking to uh, take some profits, uh, definitely taking some profits in that range. I mean, we've traveled from 60 cents all the way up here. I mean, more than likely we're going to see, if we see these prices, more than likely we're going to see some downside once we get up there. So uh, just be aware of that. Okay, yep, that's all I really got for this one. 
Okay, let's move on. S is the next one I'm going to take a look at. All right, so S, see a nice uptrend line right here. Touch, touch, a couple touches right here, right here. And then I see some pretty major support in this area around 530. You can see it was resistance, a lot of touches up here, a lot of touches. and then. A touch of that level, about 530, should get a bounce, and that's right where the uptrend line is as well. So if we do end up seeing some lower prices, in my opinion, that's a good buy zone, uh, just above $5. Let's check out TCK. TCK. We're right at some pretty big resistance here. You can see it was resistance here. Look at how many touches right there. And we're pretty much right at it. You can see how it's struggling with this level. Look at how many times we've tried to break over that. So I'm going to raise it just a little bit to be more exact to what we're seeing right now. So a close over about 1650 should be the thing that sends it higher. As far as on the downside, really want to see that trend line hold. If this trend line breaks, then we're going to see lower prices. Okay, biggest support I'm seeing nearby is at about 1280. You can see that we bounced from it right here a couple times, right here, and before it was resistance, resistance, right here right here as well so right around 1280 is going to be that first support right there kind of has a uh, let's see a rising wedge look to it oops let's see yeah it's getting pretty tight up here you know it could be I mean we could we could honestly go either way so this is not really the place that I would be initiating a new position either long or short short personally, um, but if we break this trend line, it's going to head down. If we close over about 1650, it's going to head up, and we're right there. So um, kind of at, you know, a make or break level, um, at least, you know, in the short term um, for this stock. Oops. Okay, so next let's check out G. And here, this stock, let's see what I can see here. Seeing downtrend right here. Touch, touch, touch. Obviously seeing some little support right there, around 2350 or so. You can see that's where it bounced from over here. And then if you look back over here, okay, perfect. So it was resistance, 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 resistance. Okay, so this is definitely a good level right there. And it's not a surprise that we got a bounce from there because that's a key, key level. So that's, that's the main thing that I'm seeing here for this stock is that support here. And then you've got that uh, downtrend line right here that's right by that gap fill if we fill that gap. So more than likely if it pops up here it's going to see at least a little bit of downside um, after filling that gap right there. All right, let's check out SNE. Oops, OPK first. Okay, so OPK So this one, right at a key level here, you can see I've already marked this one up. A 
Africa. So you can see that we broke out of this channel and over this downtrend line. You can see we haven't really had great action after it. You know, we kind of we didn't really break out. We just kind of went sideways after we went over it. So kind of a warning sign. Uh, you know, you really want to see it once it breaks over a downtrend line. You want to see it have some kind of positive action, you know, once it does that. When it trades kind of sideways like this, right after it breaks over it, you know, you that should that should bring up a red flag, okay? So, but um, with that said, we are at a level that could get a bounce. We're right at this uptrend line. You can see how many touches we have on these candles, this candle, and then we're right here. So you really want to see this level hold on OPK, but again, not, not really a great, great look. And this is a perfect example. You know, I know, I know a lot of people are going to be watching this and they're going to say, oh, see, technical analysis doesn't work. Well, it doesn't work every time. Yeah. Um, and uh, that's why you have stops in place. Uh, and that's why you, you know, get your uh, alert signals up, you know, your, your antennas up when it doesn't really uh, break out after it breaks over the downtrend line. You know, that's why you have stops. Um, and not all patterns end up uh, playing out perfectly. Okay. Um, so, but we're right here. You really want to see this level hold. If it doesn't hold um, this week, you know, I'm not really going to be interested in it. And more than likely, it's going to head lower down to this support uh, right there. And that is a pretty big support. So that'd be a potential buy zone uh, right here, just above uh, 750 or so, 770. SNE. SNE, Sony. Not seeing a lot on this. Kind of has that. I'll look at the weekly chart. Uh, uptrend line, but this is, you know, very, very steep. So more than likely, eventually, you know, it's not going to hold this angle, you know, the whole time. And that's not necessarily going to mean that it's going to be coming crashing down. It just means it might find a, um, a more appropriate um, angle. But uh, let's see what else we can see here. So right here at this resistance, you can see that it was rejected right here before. Oops, and then you can see that we have some resistance up above us from these candles right here at about 36.50. So honestly, I'm not that interested in, in this stock at this point in time in, in either direction, um, personally. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that's just me. I am seeing some support. Right here at about 2880, you can see that we got rejected here, 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 and now that level is going to be support around 2880. All right, let's check out some more. All right, I am not going to be able to do all of these, so I'm going to pick my favorites. AMD, okay, so AMD, oh, I've covered this uh, a million times, so if you want to uh, look at that, um, just look at, you know, a video I did, uh, it's on the channel, I've done it within the last week, so uh, look for it there, uh, CVX, all right, so CVX here, uh, this is the weekly time frame, and I'll go to the daily chart, but first let's draw this uptrend line right here on the weekly. Touch here, several touches right here, and we're coming up to that level. So uh, you really, you know, we're squeezing. This is a very tight range. You can see the Bollinger Bands getting tight, okay, tight Bollinger Bands. 
And we could see a big move from here in either direction. So you want to see that uptrend line hold. Okay, so here we are. You can see it even better on the daily chart. All right, so this is a level. Super tight range. A lot of bounces off of this 98.50 level. And we're coming up to it right now. So if we break this level, more than likely we're going to see some pretty decent downside movement on CVX. So you really want to see that 98 level hold on CVX. Uh, VRX. All right, so VRX looks pretty decent here. Um, you can see we broke over this downtrend line. Touch, 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 came over, and we broke over right here. We also broke over this shorter-term downtrend line. There's a touch, 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 and then we broke over it right here. You can also see, I'm going to look at the weekly time frame. almost looks like a false breakdown here. So you can see, you know, we have similar action right here, okay? So um, here we are, there's support, there's support. And then we broke the support right here with this red candle right there. And then it crashed lower, okay? Very similar setup right here as we had right here. So here we broke the support right here. And then look at how it just bounced right here and then broke back up. A lot of volume down here as well. So it could be indicating uh, that a bottom has been found here um, on on VRX, at least in the short term. So definitely has that potential to explode higher uh, because of those uh, things that I mentioned. We have a gap that may want to fill right here at about $68. I mean, that's about a, you know, that's more than a double from here. So, uh, you know, I'm not, I don't have a crystal ball. I'm not making any calls here, but, um, you know, it definitely has that uh, potential to explode higher uh, given that false breakdown and, and how we rebounded uh, pretty massively uh, from these lows down here. And if you look at all the volume that came into it as well, you typically see a lot of volume at uh, tops or bottoms. And this is clearly not a top. Okay, it just can't be a top. It's either a bottom or nothing okay but more than likely um, given the fact that there's been all this volume down here uh, you know we're gonna see higher prices all right next let's take a look at AER all right AER first thing I'm seeing let's see right there so that's a pretty nice downtrend line. Okay, so touch right here, 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 and here, right where we're at it. Okay, so bulls, you want to see it break over. Bears, you want to see it continue lower. Kind of has the look that it's going to break over it, um, but again, you know, definitely want to see some confirmation. So right at the inflection point, right at a point where it's either going to break out or it's going to continue breaking lower. So uh, just kind of keep an eye on uh, this downtrend line um, and whether or not it breaks over it or breaks under it. All right, next let's take a look at uh, Guild. So Guild, this is one I have drawn up. Um, we're right here at a potential bounce zone, $78 right there. Uh, you can also see that I have this lower trend line. We had a bounce here, here, and then here, and we're coming up to a potential, uh, another test, you know, right here. So if you're looking for a bounce, this is really where you want to uh, see that bounce from. Um, so, yeah. And, oh, another thing that I want to point out here is something that didn't play out perfectly. All right, so right there, this is a really nice downtrend line. Here we go, rejection, rejection. Okay, and it looks like a really nice breakout, okay? 
And then boom, we had an earnings. I believe this was um, when an earnings was announced and then we broke below it. So that's another reason that uh, nine times out of 10, I personally don't, and I know many other traders don't hold through earnings. Um, and this is, you know, another reason why, because, you know, we have a good technical breakout here on Guild, and then we have an earnings announcement, and that just screws it all up for us. So um, just kind of a little uh, tidbit there. Um, let's see. INNV. Very excited. I'm excited to look at this. Oh, um... Hmm. Is this not I N N V? Okay, well, um, I'm sorry, but that is not coming up for me. So let's take this excitement and put it into O N D K. O N D K, all right. All right, so. I'll get to the shorter term right here, but first I want to look at the longer term picture. You can see, oh yeah, this is really nice. Really nice. Let's go with the weekly because I feel like I'm going to be able to extend this further. Okay, well that's fine. Um, I'll go back to the daily. So we're at an interesting spot right here because as you can see, we're right at this downtrend line. This is a really nice downtrend line. Touch, 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 and then we're right at it right now. We're just below it right now. We're also below this resistance. Okay? But what do we have over here? We have a little uptrend line right there. Touch here, a couple touches here, a few touches here, and then we bounce. So we're right at a point where you want to see this is a potential buy zone 550 and then you can look for that breakout if this 550 does not hold to me I would be definitely worried on the long side and I wouldn't be in this stock if it breaks 550 I'm definitely not going to want to be um, in this stock but more than likely that holds for at least a little bit and you can see it's kind of compressing compressing um, in this tight range, you know, we did break out over this resistance here. Um, but, but yeah, so you really want to look for a bounce at 550 and or a break over 650. If we break over 650, going to fill that gap just above $8 right there. Okay, that's going to be the next resistance. And I'll just draw that out. I mean, you can clearly see it. Look at how many times we bounced from this level. Okay, and then what do you know? Came back up, retested it, got rejected. Again, came back up, retested it, and got rejected at not only the resistance level, but also the downtrend line. You know, markets are very technical, okay? So um, if anyone tells you technical analysis doesn't work, they're either lying or have no idea what they're talking about. All right, let's look at COH. This is one that I looked at earlier today. All right, so um, I'm going to look at the weekly chart here. All right, so weekly chart. Oh, let's look at the monthly, actually. Okay, so monthly chart here. You can see that we bounced off of this trend line, bounced off of it, and if you look here, we bounced off of it, and then we broke it right here, and then look at what happened when we came back up and retested it. Well, we got rejected. We got rejected at this previous resistance which was previous support from the lows of all these candles, okay? We also have this downtrend line right here, okay? Very technical, very clean chart. And if we look at the daily chart, we just barely broke this uptrend line right here. So to me, you know, for my liking, especially because, you know, as a whole, this market is uh, pretty bullish, you know, when you look at, 500 to a thousand plus charts a day easy like I do um, you know you get a much better feel um, for the market and the market is bullish so when I see a, a setup like this you know I, I want to see some extra confirmation um, but more than likely 
you know, we're going to be heading lower on the CO. So it broke this uptrend line. You can see we've got a bounce here, 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 right on the penny, here, right on the penny, and then we broke through it right here on Friday's action. So we see a little bit lower prices, more than likely. Um, it's going to continue um, a new uh, downtrend. All right, next let's take a look at STT. I've got a little bit of wind left in me. All right, so STT, we broke over this resistance. Here we are, broke over that resistance. And here we are. Okay, so that next main resistance is going to be up at about $74. You can see it's definitely a key level. Bounce from it right here, 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 and then now it's resistance. You can see the retests getting rejected a bunch of times. That's big resistance. Um, right here where it's at right now, you know, I'm not really interested in it. We broke over that downtrend line. Okay, so that's another thing that you, you know, could have had drawn um, on your own. Here's the breakout over that trend line. Saw some higher prices since then. But anyways, for this action right here, this, for me, I wouldn't be initiating a new long position. It's definitely looking more bullish than bearish, obviously, since we bounced here from the 50 lows all the way up here. But once we get up to 73, 74, that'd be an area where I would definitely be, um, you know, hedging or uh, taking profits, whatever your strategy calls for. All right, let's take a look at HL. HL, um, not that interested in this. Let's see if I can draw an uptrend line right here. I mean, this is pretty parabolic. So, I mean, we broke this uh, this uptrend line, but again, you know, the angle is very, very steep. So it's very hard for stocks to keep up with this type of an angle. So when it breaks this kind of a trend line, you know, I don't put a ton of weight on it as far as, you know, I'd, I'd probably uh, use it as a trailing stop, you know, for a long position. But as far as shorting it, um, I wouldn't necessarily um, do that personally, just because, you know, seeing a little bit of a, a trend change, uh, you know, this is very minor so far. It could continue lower, but um, so far this is, you know, pretty minor. Um, and we normally don't see stocks keeping this kind of an angle for, for that long. So anyways, um, that's all I really have to say about uh, HL. All right, next let's take a look at LC. All right, so LC Lending Club. Let's see if I can draw a trend line here. Okay, so here's a trend line We're right at it. And we're right here at this uptrend line too. So we're right, right here. We've got this uptrend line. And then it looks like this other one we were looking at just earlier. So you want to look for either a break over this downtrend line or a break below this trend line. If we see a break over this trend line, can see some nice upside. But keep in mind, we've got some resistance right here at 660. All right, guys, that's going to be the last one that I'm going to be doing. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Sorry about the dogs.